टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी शेयरिंग अ टेक्निक विद यू व्हिच इज कॉल्ड ओसिंट और ओपन सोर्स इंटेलिजेंस इट इज बिकम अ क्रूशियल पार्ट ऑफ साइबर सिक्योरिटी एंड इवन द पुलिस फोर्स बिकॉज़ टुडे एज़ द वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग डिजिटल वी नीड टू एक्सट्रैक्ट डिजिटल इंफॉर्मेशन आउट ऑफ लेट्स से क्रिमिनल्स और पीपल हु हैव डन समथिंग अगेंस्ट द लॉ सो पुलिस स्टेशंस एंड क्राइम इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स ऑफन यूज दिस प्रोसेस टू गैदर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन पीपल व्हिच इज नॉट एक्चुअली इलीगल यू एंड आई कैन आल्सो डू इट एंड nobody will question us but why is that it is because people have created so much of public profiles and so many images of them are there on the internet without them even knowing that if we extract that information and gather it all in one place we can get an entire report of the person where he lives his phone number and much much more there are tons of tools on the internet to do this same thing and if you want you can create even your own python scripts to create an osint tool that can crawl the internet and get this information for you so today we are going to be using osint i am first going to be telling you how it is done and how we can gather open source intelligence then i am going to be sharing tons of tools with you which you can use at your home right now to gather information on anybody right first as you can see here we have got this ppt which is open source intelligence and it is created by someone named adam i just got this off the internet but there are some really crucial points right so open source intelligence osint it is not related to open source software or public intelligence it comes from variety of sources including social media pages if a company and staff this can be a gold mine for information revealing information such as design of id badges layout of the buildings and software based on internal be systems so you, you can get a ton of information out from the internet and it is completely legal then there is offensive and defensive types of osint right so these are some things that you can do of offensive osint which is social engineering so once you get the data you can trick someone i'm not encouraging anybody to do this but what hackers do is that they get this information and they try to trick someone into getting their trust and then they try to do something malicious with them right so to if you want to stop a hacker you have to think like a hacker first so that's why uh, these tutorials are very important so that you can learn how a hacker thinks so that you can actually stop him if you want to become a cyber security analyst in the future as you can see we have got the osint search engines so you might have heard about google docking so the very first point of osint is google docking if you don't know what google docking is i have made an extensive video about it which will be linked in the i card somewhere here and it will also be linked in description below so you can check it out from there but just to give you a very basic idea so just go on exploit db google docking or something like that google hacking database from exploit db yes right so we have got google hacking right so as you can see here we have got a ton of commands that we can use to get exactly the information that we require from the search engine now google has created these search keywords for you to better search the internet because it is so vast you cannot go on each one link and gather information by yourself so you can create these keywords right and uh, they are really easy to learn which you can put into the google search bar and it will give you exactly the kind of information that you are looking for so as you can see we have got in title so it will only give me the websites or the files which have file catalyst file transfer solution in their title right or in url encryption.txt or in url auditing.txt let's just copy this and paste it let's see what it gives us so as you can see it will give me all those urls which have auditing.txt in their url right so like Let's go on something else. All right, so let's search for webcam. In okay, so let's just copy this and let's see if we can find any open webcams. All right, so we've got Lee Macrae webcam. Let's see if that is open. Okay, so oh, it is showing me some video. So as you can see, it is a live webcam feed just by a Google search, right? So this is the power of Google docking this is the power of the internet as, as you can see it is showing me that it is live right here and this countdown is also going on so this is some street of some country and it is completely open but why is that because people just forget to do this and all this information is there open on the internet right i just typed one command from here now just imagine if i do an extensive search on webcams or if i want to extract passwords of a company if i'm in a bug bounty program if i want to extract the passwords out of a certain url so it makes it very easy this is the most important part of osint which is google docking the second one is a website named spokio so it's spokio.com and uh, it does not give you much because it is also an ai generated website so it's a computer in himself so if i type a name named john doe which is a very common name right so as you can see we have so many 
many John Doe's. So, so there are in 52 locations, but this is only for the USA. It does not work in any other country. So if I put in my name, it won't come up. But if I put in anyone in the US, it will give me the address, the phone number and the email and even his age. Right. So if I type some common name named Dan or something like that. So it is gathering the results. So it is searching for media website, searching for 120 plus networks. Right. So that's what OSINT is all about. You search for people without them knowing and it is basically they are handing you information in your hand which is open source right so open source intelligence let me just let complete so we have got we can do the na name lookup we can do reverse address lookup or code record search okay so let's say john do so this is a really fun tool to play around with right it does not lead to any productive information as i know of right now but it's a really fun tool if you just want to learn what OSINT is and you have grasped the essence of it all right so we have got john doe let's see what all information it can provide so we have got the address the phone number to unlock it will tell me some profile yes so he tells me to get a paid subscription i won't be doing that right now so the email the number right so that's that's really spooky actually the family members Oh my god, court records. So everything it is giving me and that is just open source information, right? Next we have Google Lens. As I told you, Google is a really powerful tool. So let's say Google Lens. And if you just have anyone's picture, you can just go to Google Lens and you can put their picture inside and it will give you the results for that person in the entire internet, wherever he has logged in. He, does he have a channel or something? Does he have an Instagram account? Everything it will give just by Google Lens. If you want to dive deep into into this you can use another tool named tin i right let's see what that is tin i reverse search all right so let me upload my photo okay so there are zero matches let me try something else okay so let's say i take a famous personality so let's say i say bill gates so i'll take the photo of bill gates right here i need to copy this and let's go right here and paste it right now let's see if he can get me oh okay there are 600 results oh my god so of this exact photo there are 600 results so this is also a, a very great website so if you can go right here uh, it will give you the result where it found that photo so this is also a great tool that people use these days to gather information on other people right so this is tin i so next we have exif data right so let's see what that is that is exif data viewer so you can extract information from images so if you just open your phone and you just swipe up if you are an apple i don't know about android phones if you are an apple you can just take the photo if you just swipe up you'll get all the information on where the photo was clicked when it was clicked how it was clicked and all that sort of information so that data is often embedded in xif data files so if i choose an image let me try this one and if i upload this image right so submit an image url okay so we have this and all right so let me just try this photo again i'm just gonna copy image address and i'm gonna paste it here oops this is not working so let me go on this one let's see if this one can get me some information out okay so we can drag and drop whoops this one and now we can view the metadata okay so this is just basic stuff but uh so this photo does not include location data we cannot find where it is hidden and we can also remove the metadata right so the metadata is the name the file size okay so if i give you a photo you can get the photo's name you can get the file size the file type so this is not nothing new but there are often some things which the photo is hiding that uh, okay so we are getting the file permissions and all right so this is nothing nothing new this is the encoding color components bits per sample so sometimes uh this data can give you a lot of information that is useful right this time it's not and then we finally we have got recon ng so let me tell you what that is so let's go on recon ng this is a very powerful tool and we can do recon ng on the web and we can also do it on like normally so let me find a blog that will give you a complete idea on what recon ng actually does so here we have recon ng and here it is just installing how to do it if you want me to create an entire video on recon ng just leave it down in the comments below and i'll make a very extensive video on how you can find out more information on recon ng so it is basically it works like meta so first you have to get all these so we have got db we have got go options and then we got show options and we can actually gather open source information from a command line based tool and this is very very useful once you are doing a bug bounty program or you are just finding information about anyone all right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you liked it be sure to smash that like button down there subscribe to the channel if you're into cyber security ethical hacking bug bounty and you like cool tech stuff just like this subscribe and i'll see you guys next time